guys, it's Sarah. So today I'm going to be doing a video about my iPhone case collection. I am totally addicted to collecting iPhone cases. Everyone in my family, all my friends say that I have a problem, but um, you know, people collect rocks, stamps, uh, postcards, and I collect iPhone cases. It's kind of like shoes for me, because like, not really, I've never been really addicted to buying shoes or like purses or anything. So it's kind of like my fashion accessory. I love them so much. I'm like obsessed with my iPhone and my cases. So I thought that I would do a video showing them because I love watching these videos. It gives you some ideas, you know, where to find some good cases and all that. So I figured I would just show you guys the cases that I got, tell you where I got them, and I'll probably link them down below whenever I uh, I'll find where I got them from. Most of them are from um, either eBay, Amazon, or Best Buy, and I also have two Wildflower cases, which are my two favorites. And so I guess we will just get started, and I will show you my first case, which is the one that's currently on my phone, it is the Wildflower case. It's the Sweetheart one. I wanted to get this one last year. They were sold out. Um, it's the Valentine's Day edition. I was so excited, so I'm going to have this on my phone until Valentine's Day. It has the Silver Pyramid. And I just love it. It is so cute. The good thing about wildflower cases is that they're really durable. They have the front, like the bumper on the front, and then they're just really well made. And they are kind of pricey, but I think it's totally worth it. So, yay for wildflower cases. Which brings me to my next case. This is my favorite case completely. Um, it is my favorite. It's got, it's the cream design, I think it's called. And it has the gold cross stud, and it's the same as the other one, it's just um, different pattern, different studs, and these cases are amazing. I highly recommend them, and yes, they are my fave. So the next case I'm going to show you guys is this one that I got from Icing. It's just a snap-on, which I'm not really a fan of the snap-ons because I need it to be more protected. It kind of goes around, like it doesn't go around on the front, but it kind of is raised above the front. So that's good. It's kind of like a leather material, which I really like, and it has like a, a really cute pattern with like gray detailing. So this is really cute. Uh, I really like it, but I wouldn't use it a whole lot just because I don't want to break my phone or anything. I got this one at Best Buy, I think for, well they're $40, but I work there so I get a discount. I really, really like this. It's protective. It covers the front. It's kind of like a two-piece. like. You just kind of like snap them together, it's like a bumper, and then snap them together, and it's really, really cute. The only thing I don't like about it is that it rattles, like the buttons on it, they rattle a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really cute and protective, and I just love glitter, so I like this one a lot. And the next case I have is the Studio Ghibli one. Studio Ghibli is my favorite movie series. It's like a Japanese kind of a children's series and it's really the movies are adorable um kiki's delivery service spirited away obviously my neighbor totoro and yes and there's a new one coming out by the way on february 21st it's gonna be the last one i'm so excited but yeah so i got this case on etsy um it's a custom made case i chose the picture they're really high quality cases i will link obviously the uh uh, maker down below. The only thing I have to say is the ones for the iPhone 4 I liked a little bit better. They were, it was smooth here, like the wildflower case, and it came around the front a little bit more. This one kind of looks like a tire, but I really like the pattern, so I still use this one quite a bit, and I like it a lot. So the next case that I have here is, it has hearts on it. It's really cute. I really like this one because it covers the front, and it has like a silicone uh, button for the home button. I use this one for a good month, I think. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this. It's really, really cute. I like it a lot and um, definitely would recommend it. I got it on eBay, I think for like like five or six dollars and it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Then I have this uh, Snap-on case. It's really not good quality at all, but I really wanted a Kingdom Hearts pattern and I wasn't really that happy with the style of the iPhone 5 case just because I wanted like the smooth. So I didn't get my own pattern that time, but I just got a snap on in case I wanted to have a Kingdom Hearts pattern because Kingdom Hearts is my favorite video game of all time. Obviously, the username Keyblade Sarah, if any of you have ever played, it's the best game ever. The next four cases or so that I have are clear ones. Two of them have colored bumpers on them. This one is just a clear silicone case that I got from Best Buy. It was in the $9.99 basket, so 
super cheap. I just really like this one in case I just don't feel like having a pattern on my phone or anything. It's really, really protective, it covers the front, and it, it, I just like this one a lot because sometimes I just like to show off the beautiful phone. iPhones are gorgeous, so I mean. Okay, and then I obviously, I have this just like plain snap on. It still has the foam in it, but uh, I got it so that I could put like pictures in it if I wanted to, but I'm not a fan of snap-ons, so I don't use it a lot. I actually haven't used it yet. I put it on my phone like once to see what it looked like. It looked nice, but um, don't want to break my phone. And then I have this mint green bumper with a clear plastic uh, back. It looks cute. I don't really like these because it doesn't come around the front like at all, unfortunately. They did on the iPhone 4. I don't know why they don't on the 5, but um, then I have the pink one. And I put that little uh, studded cross on it myself. I guess it made it look a little cuter, but for some reason, it's not really centered on the apple, so it kind of freaks me out. I don't use it at all, but it was fun to make, so. Alright, and then the next case I have is this one with the flowers on it. It uh, They have these in Forever 21, or at least they did. And um, I found it on eBay for like a dollar, like free shipping from China. It took a while to get here, obviously, but I really like this. It's cute and um, feels nice on your phone. It's like a really nice material, and it... Um, the pattern really holds up, so this one's really good. I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, I'll probably link the eBay link just because I don't think Forever 21 sells it anymore. And then the next case I have is this um, gold case. It uh, It's like a two-piece. It has like silicone on the inside. You take them apart, you put the silicone on first and the hard part, just like an otter box. And I do have an otter box, which I will show next. This case, it's okay. I think I got it for like $5. The silicone is really, really hard to get out of the plastic. So that's something I don't really like about it, but I really like the gold color. I love gold, so I just probably won't really use this one to be honest. So my next case is my OtterBox, and I really love this case. It's not my cutest case, but um, I just have the mint green with the teal in silicone. You take it apart like this. It's super, super protective. It's not the Defender. I don't really like the Defender. It's too bulky for me, but this feels really nice to hold in your hand. like. It's just so like sturdy, really, really well made. I got this for Best Buy, from Best Buy. I think they're about $40. I get a discount on them, but uh, they're definitely worth the money in my opinion. And I have this Hello Kitty case, which is adorable. It's huge, but oh my God, is it cute. Like, I just love it. I just love that it's like shaped like her and it's so cute. And it's really, really protective. Like it covers even like the bottom here. So, yeah, I love Hello Kitty in this case. It's just adorable. And finally, I have this Switch Easy case, which it has, like, the home button there. So I guess you probably couldn't use that on the 5S unless you turned off the Touch ID. I really love the color. It's just, like, a light pink. And it's just a uh, silicone, and it's, like, all rubbery. And I like to use it. Um, I don't use it a lot because if I put it in my pocket when I'm wearing jeans, it gets, like, lint all over it, which, not a fan. So, yeah, I still like it, and, um... I do use it. I like that it covers the home button because the thing with the white iPhone 5 is it gets like dirt, like lint in the corners and edges of everything and it's just really annoying. So I like any case that can cover that up. So those are all the cases that I have for the iPhone 5. I think I'm just going to really quickly film the ones I have for my iPhone 4. I'm not going to show them like sitting here, but I don't use them anymore because I don't have the iPhone 4 anymore. That was my iPhone case collection. I think that I have about 17 or 18. I'm like totally addicted. Probably never stop buying iPhone cases and um, you know, I'll definitely make a video showing your iPhone cases because I would love to see them. I watch them all the time. <laughs> Alright, and uh, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye!